Corinne Jean-Pierre torched for claiming wages are up because of Bidenomics. The economy stinks, ma'am. A Twitter community note fact-checked President Biden's claim that wages have gone up for workers. Social media users pushed back against White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre's claim that wages were up for Americans, despite a Twitter community note saying otherwise. During Monday's press conference, a reporter questioned Jean-Pierre on a tweet from President Biden, facing a fact-check by the Twitter feature. The president had a tweet out last night saying that real wages for the average American worker are higher than they were before the pandemic. That tweet has now been annotated with a message from the platform saying that that is not factual and that they have some stats and some charts footnoted along with that. Do you welcome that kind of contestation from tech platforms? The reporter asked. She added, well, we disagree because of we're looking at the data from February of 2021. And what we've seen is that wages have gotten stronger, have increased. We've seen that Bidenomics has been really helpful in getting to make sure that we build an economy that leaves no one behind. Twitter users attacked Jean Pierre's assertion about the community note, as well as her claims about Bidenomics. Shorter key GP, facts smacks, Pluribus editor Gerald Byer tweeted. Economist Max Murray wrote, constantly necessary to call out Ms. Pinocchio and the Biden administration for putting out malarkey. Facts are racist him. National Review contributor Pradeep Shankar joked. The Americans for Prosperity noted, We and 74% of Americans disagree that Bidenomics is right for America. The regime's most qualified liar thinks seeing a near 17% rise in prices in the two years since Biden took office, along with the 3% loss to hourly wages, is a positive achievement. Way to go! He's got the hashtag Biden touch. Like the Midas touch only the opposite. Radio host Alan Sanders remarked, The economy stinks, ma'am. For America President David Bazal tweeted, Right now, real wages for the average American worker is higher than it was before the pandemic, with lower wage workers seeing the largest gains. That's Bidenomics, Biden tweeted Sunday. The community note read, The tweet's claim about real wages contains a factual error. On 3 15th 20 when U.S. COVID lockdowns began real wages adjusted for inflation, AFI, were $11.15. As of 7 16th 23 real wages AFI are $11.05. Real wages AFI remain lower, not higher, than before the pandemic. Jean-Pierre repeatedly defended Biden's economy during the press conference, insisting that wages were up for workers.